Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking about how you can start mining Ethereum Classic using your Windows 10 or 11 based computer in less than 10 minutes. So if that all sounds interesting to you, I do want to make sure to ask you to stick around through the entire video so that you don't miss any of the great tips and tricks that I have to help you get up and running mining Ethereum Classic faster than ever. So before we dive into the video, I always like to start off here on CoinMarketCap taking a look at what's going on in the markets just as a point of reference if you happen to be watching this video in the future. So if you aren't interested in this, please feel free to skip ahead one to two minutes and we'll be getting into the tutorial then. But as you can see, it's been a fairly good day for crypto with the total market cap up 2.2 trillion dollars, up about 1% today. Now, of course, leading that is Bitcoin. Uh, they're fairly flat today, but are up almost 9% this week. So very cool to see Bitcoin sitting right around $63,300. Ethereum doing well, um, but of course, we want to scroll down a little bit further to find Ethereum Classic. As you can see, Ethereum Classic here, the coin of today's video, is sitting right at 34 on CoinMarketCap at $19.19, .19, which is up 2% today and 8% this week. So very cool to see this coin on the move. I, I think a lot of people really believe in this coin. I think it's got a lot of potential to continue going up in value. We haven't even really hit a full fledged bull run yet and if we look at the all-time high here back in may of 2021 you can see that this coin was 119 dollars so that right there if you just want to assume um of course this is just speculation that ethereum classic gets back up to that all-time high you are looking at a potential 100 dollars profit for every coin you have if you started mining right now so how do you start mining? What you're going to do is want to go over to Unminable. Now, I will say there is a link down below in the description that has a referral code attached to it that gives you a discount on your mining uh, fees here on the pool. I'll talk about that a little bit more, but if you don't want to use that, feel free to just go to unminable.com, but you will pay a little bit of a higher fee. Now, what you're going to want to do is first navigate to the Ethereum Classic coin. You'll notice that they've got about 97 coins here on the site. Feel free to follow this tutorial for any coins. There's a few small differences, but more or less this should work for any coin. But of course today we're looking at Ethereum Classic. Next, you're going to want to choose the mining power that's best for your computer. Now, most people these days, if you've got a relatively new GPU, are going to want to be looking at the Kapow algorithm. That's most likely the most profitable, but I always do recommend using a site like whattomine.com. Go over there, enter in your information about your specific hardware, and it'll tell you the best and most profitable algorithm at the current time. This can change as crypto changes all the time, but general rule of thumb for the time being, Kapow is the one to go with. So once you do that, you select this, you're going to come over and find this Get Started With Our Wizard. And I'll go ahead and zoom in just a little bit here so you can see. Um, but if we go ahead and select this, you'll get two options. I'm going to go with Basic. Feel free to go with Advanced if you want to specify your port, region, things like that. Uh, but Basic should be good for most people. Now, I'm going to be following the GPU option here, but feel free to follow along with CPU. The main difference is you'll have a different set of algorithms for CPU. Um, so again, selecting your mining algorithm, I'm going with Kapow, but please choose what's best for your hardware. And again, here's where you'll select the coin that you're interested in mining. Again, we're going with Ethereum Classic, but feel free to choose whatever you're most interested in. And here's where you'll enter your wallet address. Now, I do want to say, please double and triple check your address. If this address is wrong, nothing will stop you from mining. The way Unminable works is it is bound to your address, so all of the coins you mine are bound to the address you type in here. If it is wrong, you will not be able to get paid out and you cannot change that address. As you can see, if I delete that one, 
it says, hey, this is you know an invalid address, but if I replace it with a two, it says you're good to go. This is a valid address, but as we know, I will not get paid because that's not the address. So I like to call that out. Please just be careful. I'd hate to see anybody lose coins because of a typo or missed copy and paste um, on one or two numbers or letters. Once you're done there, you can go ahead and say next. And here is where you can enter in my referral code, which is just Bitcoin-Tips, capital B, capital T. If you clicked the link in the description below, this will already be pre-populated. But what this is going to do is actually going to save you 25% on your mining fee. So here on Unminable, there is a flat 1% fee for mining. So to make it simple here, I'm going to say you mine 100 Ethereum Classic coins. You're going to uh, pay one of those coins to Unminable. It doesn't matter if you mined those 100 coins today at $19 or, you know, six months from now if it's at $100. Or if you mined 100 coins in a day or in a year, you're always going to pay that one coin. And by using this, you're actually reducing that fee down to 0.75%, saving you 25% of that fee that would otherwise go to unminable so you'll be able to build up your holdings a little bit faster so i do recommend using it it does help out the channel helps you out but as always if you don't want to use that for whatever reason feel free to go ahead and say continue without referral code at this point you are at the end where you download the mining program and start mining now i personally always recommend gminer I've had a lot of luck with it. It works really well, and I've been mining with it for many years now. Now, that doesn't mean that uh, the other miners here are bad options. It's just I am most comfortable with Gminer. So that's going to be the one I finished the tutorial with, but please feel free to choose what you would like. With one call out here, certain miners like Team Red Miner and T Rex Miner only support one type of GPU. So if you happen to choose the wrong one and say you choose Team Red and you have an NVIDIA GPU, it will not work. So that's another plus for G Miner or NB Miner here at the top. So what you're going to want to do is go to Download Miner Files. This is going to take you to a GitHub page where you just have to select the Windows 64 zip file here. This will download to your computer. Go ahead and extract it um, into a new folder. The mining program will not run if you don't extract it. So please keep that in mind. Then what you're going to do is come back to Unminable and select this blue download.bat file. As you can see here, Chrome calls this out and says, hey, this file is unverified. Do you want to download this? If you want to continue mining, this is across the board, whether it's Gminer or any of the other miners here, any of the other coins on this, any other algorithm, you're going to get these messages. So unfortunately, if you are not comfortable doing this, Mining is most likely not for you. I would recommend checking out some of my other uh, free crypto faucet videos where you don't have to download anything, but you will have to select download unverified file. It's just kind of part of it. I've never personally had any issues with unminable or the files. That doesn't mean you'll have the same experience, but in general, it should be pretty safe. What you're going to do then is go from the downloads folder, drag and drop that into the folder with the mining uh, software that you just extracted. So as you can see here, this is my extracted Gminer Windows 64-bit. There's a bunch of files, and I just drag and dropped the unminable ETC Kapow Gminer, and I downloaded a test file earlier, so it's named just one uh, right here. What you're going to do then is just double-click this, and you will see another pop-up saying, hey, Windows is protecting your PC. Again, if you're going to want to start mining on any of these coins with any algorithms, go ahead and save more info and run anyway. If you're not comfortable doing this, unfortunately, there is no workaround. You will just have to say don't run, delete the files off your computer, and find a different way to get into crypto. But if you're comfortable with that, go ahead and say run anyways. As you can see here, this opens up a CMD window, and at this point, we are officially mining at about 9 minutes and 30 seconds into this video, including a little bit of an intro with CoinMarketCap and, of course, the intro for Bitcoin Tips. So, super cool there. Uh, as you can see, it takes a second to spin up, which is completely normal. 
And just a few other things I like to mention about unminable and crypto mining in general. When you start mining, it will take about 15 to 30 minutes for your stats to show up here on the site. So what you can do is go back over to address, uh, select your, you know, paste in the same address you used and see your live stats. Now it does take about, like I said, 15 to 20 minutes to show up. If it doesn't show up at, you know, within that time frame, I would recommend double checking your address, all of that, make sure there's no errors in this mining console, everything's looking good. If that's the case, just give it some time, it should populate. And on the other side, when you are ready to be done mining, to stop this, all you have to do is close the CMD window. Now you may be thinking, why am I telling you how to close a window? The reason is, is I've seen some questions about it, when you stop the miner, your stats here on the site, you will continue to see those report and you may even continue to get payments for hours after stopping the miner. I personally have seen payments come in five, six, eight, ten hours after stopping the miner. It's really weird, but it is completely normal and as long as that CMD window is completely closed, as you can see my unminable worker just appeared here, um, so it was pretty quick. and. As you saw, I closed the window and it just reported. So great example of that live here on the video. But as long as that window is closed, you are no longer mining. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you learned something, please consider leaving a like. And if you ran into any issues throughout any step of this process, please leave a comment down below. Let me know where you're getting stuck. I would love to try and help to the best of my ability and get you up and running here on Unminable. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to Bitcoin Tips to stay up to date on all things crypto. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.